Hi everyone, welcome to the Monday Wrap. Uh, we're back, slightly belatedly, apologies for that, uh, but we're going to get right into it because we've got a buttload of stuff to crap, uh, catch up on, <laughs> and uh, we're going to leap straight into club cricket. We can't mention everything that's been going on because there's been so much uh, stuff that's happened in the last month. There's been an absolute swag of, of centuries, uh, Laxman Popley, Sachin Varia, Andrew De Border, Barrington Rowland, Aaron Jeevans, uh, Vishmal Kumar, all got tons over the last uh, four or five weeks. Fantastic stuff. A couple of six wicket bags, Sean Salia and Vishy Jeet, uh, and plus an absolute truckload of fifers out there. Far too many to mention. So um, if you do want to catch up with all that, go to our website. It's all there. There's also been semi finals, there's been finals. It's all been happening. Congrats to East Coast Bays on picking up the T20 title a couple of weekends, uh, weeks ago. Uh, down Cornwall in a thrilling final, got uh, runs off the last ball to win that game, so fantastic uh, game. Uh, we're up to semi-finals in the Jeff Crow Cup. We've got, uh, who have we got? We've got Pineal up against Grafton, and we've got Bays versus University. That's coming up this weekend, this Sunday, in fact, to find the two finalists there. Uh, and the two-day stuff is coming down to the wire as well. We've got the last round in the Headley Howarth uh, Major Championship before they go to that top four, bottom four and it's incredibly close. We've got three teams, Parnell, Tacker, and uh, Suburbs, all within two points of each other, heading into this last round, and you've got Bays only another three points back as well, uh, with Howard Pack and Grafton a bit further behind, but still in the mix. So, all to play for, really exciting last week of cricket coming up, final. Uh, second day of that round is this Saturday, so, uh, and with uh, Suburbs and Tacker making a move, and Parnell looking under a bit more pressure, it'll be very interesting to see how that plays out this weekend. Um, as I mentioned, performances, there's been a bunch of them, but uh, we're going to call this our performance of the month, and who knows, could be the performance of the year, uh, the way it's going. Uh, I'm not sure when it was last being done, actually, it'd be interesting to find out, but four centuries in four games, three of them in consecutive games uh, in Premier Grade, Matt Ansel, uh, guys on fire at the moment, his latest one was 169, not out at the weekend. Uh, and he's put, helped put a side into the semi-finals of the Jeff Crow Cup, as well as pushing up the table in the two-day stuff as well. He's yeah, Ebb's guy who's in form of his life at the moment, so fantastic to see. And that is enough of me talking in one massive burst, so I'm going to stop talking about club cricket um, and hand over to Neil Wright to start filling us in on all the other stuff that's been happening out there. Neil? Yep. So, I think what we'll Hang on, do... you're not Neil Wright, you're Neil Gray. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Shout out to Neil, though. Yeah. Next staff member. Um... What we're going to talk about now is the Aces. So since we've uh, last been uh, on your screens, there's been three debuts in first-class cricket. So Dushan Hakaraya blasted onto the scene with a, a hundred that, that saved the Aces skin and innings, and he's gone on to, to play the next couple of games. So well done to Dush in that. And then Michael Gupto bunts made his debut out here, and then has also played against Wellington. So well done to Guppy. And then in the last game, we had Michael Barry, who came off some hot form for the Auckland A's and, and carried that on for the Aces in a, a debut where he got 49 in the first innings and then just got over that half century line in the second innings as well. So a great start for Baz and um, results maybe haven't been quite going the Aces way but we're still competing and, and uh, fingers crossed that this week things go slightly better in a tackle. But um, the Aces, we've gone from club cricket to state cricket but there's been some... Uh, international cricket of a sort happening in Auckland. It is, absolutely. And we're not talking about the Black Caps this time. We're talking about the ICC East Asia Pacific uh, T20 tournament that was down at Waikaraka Park last week. Uh, teams from around the Pacific and the uh, Asian region, obviously. And uh, it was a great tournament. T20 games all week. And uh, PNG took out the title, beating Vanuatu in the final by about 38 runs, I believe. Uh, fantastic week's worth of cricket. Uh, and some really exciting action down there. And a notable point, the uh, player of the tournament was one Ben Mylata of Eden Roskill Prem's fame and also here at Auckland Cricket uh, fame as well. So well done to Ben. He had a great week, picked up runs and wickets. So it was, say, it was a fantastic tournament and uh, we're really glad that we were able to host it and the teams uh, really got into it as well. It was, it was great stuff. Um, but talking of international cricket and of, of, of a one that's probably uh, uppermost in people's minds at the moment, the English are here. Neil, fill us in on that. Yeah, yeah so we had the, the really exciting game here on Saturday night. Again, unfortunately, it didn't go the Black Caps way, but it was great to see Guppy back in Auckland and, and scoring some runs, and Mitchell McLennan was out there as well, and um, Manu also went out there, Colin Monroe, and, and was 
Blasting Six is the All Corners of Eden Park. So hopefully we see some more of that in Hamilton and uh, in Wellington over the rest of this week. And then you've got the one day or starting in Hamilton, but the boys will be back in Auckland for the one day or in, uh, a week on Saturday's time. So make sure and uh, get along and watch them here and, and cheer them on and make sure we drown out the Barmy Army. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. And don't forget after that, of course, we've got the Test match at the end of March too. So heaps of cricket coming out on the number one. It's going to be a great tour. Now, as I say, it's been a while since we've been on your screens. So we've got a lot to cover, but we're just going to go bish bash bosh, finish it all off. Neil, take it away. We're blasting through this. So good luck to Katie Perkins, who's in the White Ferns in India at the minute. The girls have got their second game in the Super Sixes tonight against West Indies and then Australia on Thursdays to get into the semi-finals so good luck to Perky. We've got secondary schools, the 2020 championship was held and was won by Auckland Grammar, well done to those boys, Jared Baker was player of the tournament and a special shout out to Glenn Phillips from Sacred Heart who got 231 in the first game of the season, it's a massive score from that young man, well done. Congratulations to the Takapuna Premier Reserves who downed long-term rivals East Coast Bays yesterday in the one-day final of the Premier Reserve grade. Well done to them. The under-18 girls went over to the Australian State National Championship, so they were playing against New South Wales, Victoria, etc. Unfortunately, because this was the first year in the competition, the girls were only allowed to play in the 7th, 8th playoff. But if results had counted, the girls would have been playing off for 3rd and 4th which is a massive achievement for an Auckland side to go over to Australia. So well done to Dean, Vic and all the girls that were in Australia. Finally, the Hearts. We didn't manage to cover this because of our uh, absence, but the girls went down an absolutely cracking game at Melville to Canterbury off the last ball with one wicket remaining. Heartbreaking for Heidi and the rest of her team, but the girls did it proud throughout the course of the season, and I'm sure they will we'll continue to go from strength to strength next year. Phew! That is it, done, all over, we're back up to speed and we will be back next week, promise. And lastly, don't forget that the A's are playing down at Colin Maiden today and the next couple of days in a tri-series against uh, Papua New Guinea and NDA. So if you want to get along, get down there, otherwise you can follow live scoring on the website. Right, that is enough from us, see you next week. See you.